Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. It is time for another edition of Much of Room About Nothing, and we have a super spicy modern list to play this week. This is Liquid Metal Combo. So everyone knows Sahili Rai, it's a combo piece. It works with Felidar Guardian to go infinite, but that's not the combo we're playing. We have a much less well-known, much jankier Sahili Rai combo we're built around. That is Sahili Rai with liquid metal coating. Sahili Rai's negative two can copy a artifact or a creature. You get a token copy of it. Liquid metal coating just turns something into an artifact. If we can get both down, we liquid metal the Sahili, then Sahili can copy itself. Sure, we legend roll. That's fine. Whatever. We keep the new one, copy itself again and again and again. Essentially, we get infinite Sahilis entering the battlefield, which, if we have Alter of the Brood, which mills our opponent for one when a permanent comes into play, we just mill our opponent out and win the game. So, you're probably wondering, wait, these are all old cards. Why are we playing this deck now? And the answer is, even though the combo is old, Modern Horizons True has greatly improved it in a couple of different ways. So first off, we have Liquid Metal Torque to go along with Liquid Metal Coating and Karn the Great Creator to snag a Liquid Metal Coating from the sideboard. So we essentially have 10 copies of our Liquid Metal card, which makes the combo so much more consistent. The other th improvement to the deck is ways to find Altar of the Brood. Altar of the Brood, not a very good card when played fairly. If you run it out and just mill your opponent, you could be turning on Dredge or Reanimator and Snapcaster, but we do have to find one for the combo. Well, now, thanks to Urza Saga and also Karn, which can grab one from the sideboard, we can play a single copy of Alter Brood in our main deck and still find it super consistently when we need it to combo off and win the game. So that's a huge improvement because playing four Alter of the Broods to have a chance of drawing them, oh my goodness, it's really painful because they're really bad outside the combo. Combo. Otherwise, a couple more Urza Saga Tutor targets, Pithing Needle, Pyrite Spell Bomb. Then we have our backup plan and kind of, I guess, our stay in the game while we set up our combo plan. We can't just luck into a turn three kill. Like turn one Altar of the Brood, turn two Liquid Metal Card, turn three Sahili. That's a turn three kill, but that doesn't happen too much. Instead, what our deck mostly does is since we have all these Liquid Metal cards to turn things into artifact, we can use Thieving Skydiver to steal any of our opponent's stuff, including their lands if we have Liquid metal coating a braid becomes two mana instant speed vindicate shenanigans is hilarious destroying an artifact for two mana well if we turn any of our opponent's things into an artifact we can just do this again and again every turn thanks to dredge and essentially just get a flawless victory even and keep our opponent at no permanence otherwise blood moon to jank people out ragavan to play blood moon on turn two lightning bolt for a bit of removal mana base pretty typical blood moon mana base sideboard a lot of karn stuff ether gust mystical dispute for control anger for creature decks and that is is Liquid Metal Cabo for Modern. New and improved MH2 version. So let's find out, can this janky against the odd style combo become a competitive deck thanks to these new additions? Let's jump into a league, see what happens. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Looking for some sweet new Dungeon and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms cards? Well, you can pre-order them all now from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Much brew about nothing time. We are... Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're keeping this. Uh, we are... <laughs> we are comboing off Liquid Metal Combo in Modern. Also, Blood Moon, of course. But uh, this deck actually is a really, really cool idea. I wish we had, I wish we had one more land or a Ragavan. Ragavan to uh, start making treasures would be spectacular. Ether Vile. Opponent passes. Land, please. It's a land. Uh, all right, so play a Mountain. Play a Liquid Metal Coating. Go. Hmm, this is actually super interesting. We can start stealing stuff with liquid metal coating. If our opponent does not have another land. Oh, oh, they do. Okay, hmm, interesting. Liquid metal torque. Ha, huh. so what are we stealing? I mean, lands are more beneficial to us. The vials are probably more beneficial to our opponent. It's probably land, right? Like if we steal the land, if we steal the land, then we can Karn and that shuts down the vials anyway. I guess our opponent's gonna have one turn to put stuff into play. All right, let's Urza Saga, target your Field of Ruin, kick a Skydiver, steal the Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Opponent, doing their vile things. Cause yeah, like, so our opponent needs to get reasonably on board this turn or else Karn shuts down the vials and then we can steal their other land. Oh, I guess we can actually just eat the land. Opponent, tap land, passes. 
Well, there's a saga triggers. Well, we will. This might just be game, Karn. Activate your vials if you wanna. Okay, evokes a, sure. That's fine. Vials in. Charming Prince. All right, well, that's a, that is a turn for our opponent. We will liquid metal coating. Get rid of the castle, Arden Vale. Yeah, so our opponent gets, this allowed our opponent to get back the evoke elemental. All right. And this will possibly let them beat our, get rid of our Karn, which is awkward. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, once they get rid of the Karn, then their vials are back on and we might be in trouble. Opponent, everything at Karn. We draw. Well, let's float a mana. Do we need to make a construct? Maybe we should. Yeah, let's make a construct. Lose our Urza Saga. Get a, well, probably Pithing Needle still. Well, no, let's get Nile Spellbomb. Play the land. Liquid Metal Coating. Take up Karn. Skydiver for Nova. I mean, we just wanna, we just gotta keep the Karn alive. If we can keep the Karn alive, I don't see how our opponent can win. About a Kabat. Tags Karn. We will block. Hmm. Uh, so we're running out of things to Karn, awkwardly. Now well, let's play Liquid Metal Torque. Play Liquid Metal Torque. Take up Karn. Hit you for five. So if our opponent, I mean, we're fine with trading off this Torque. If our opponent has something else, then we can Pyrite Spell Bomb and get rid of the Charming Prince. Wow, this went pretty well. Opponent combat attacks the Karn. We will block, kill the Charm. I don't know how our opponent does anything from here. Opponent passes. Well, play a Sulfur Falls. Take down a Karn. Get a, I guess an Altar of the Brood in case we find our combo. Play Altar of the Brood. Play Blood Moon. Just in case you draw land, Milia. Oh, they were gonna draw land too. Hit ya, pass the turn. What a performance for the deck. This is the blowout of blowouts, about it. And opponent finally gives up. Wow, that went incredibly well. <laughs> that went way, way, way better than I would have expected. Well, opponent's playing death and taxes, angers in, bolts in, probably trim some blood moons. Blood moons seems a little, a little hit or miss. Shenanigans with Liquid Metal Torque is pretty good. Oh, this deck is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I really, I just love the synergies of this deck. It's just such a such a fun idea. And it's an old combo, the Sahili making an artifact combo that has never been good enough, but now thanks to new, ooh, thanks to new pieces might actually be good enough. Well, yeah, one land no keep. All right, I like Raghavan. We will put a, huh. Let's put Torque to the bottom. We have a bunch of them. We'll find another one eventually. Opponent, Ether Vile, land, and Raghavan, go. Opponent, taking up the vial. I mean, worst case, we can steal the vial just to slow our opponent down. Drawing another Skydiver, and I kind of wish we kept Torque. I mean, we're gonna attack. If you got a, if you got a one drop chump blocker, then go for it, Raghavan. Opponent, one, blo one drop chump blocker, three bin inspector. After what happened last game, I'm a little surprised our opponent kept another one lander. Well, tap land go. Like even even without liquid metal torque, just yoinking this ether vial, what's our opponent gonna do? If they don't draw lands, about it. Vials. Wall of Omens, trying to draw land. Do they draw land? No, Thraben Inspector. Well, this is going to be a pretty good thieving skydiver, I think. Play the land, kick a thieving skydiver. Take your ether vial. And <laughs> Enjoy your one land, opponent. All right, opponent finds land number two, so they are in the game kind of for the time being. I mean, I guess this also means I get to crack clues to draw cards, so they're in the game. Now we really would like a Karn or a Karn or something else that lets us, just like a liquid metal, like something to turn our opponent's stuff into artifacts. About it. Yeah, with how this draw worked out, I really wish we met, uh, kept the liquid metal torque, but at the time we didn't know. Opponent, Charming Prince, going to scry, interesting decision. We might just steal the clue. It might be worth it, but uh, if we don't draw anything. Um, yeah, we'll just leave this on two, I guess. Lightning Bolt. No, I mean, play a mountain, put two cards to the top. Oh no, oh, that was a punt. We could have milled them both. Hmm, all right. Alter the Brood, kick a Skydiver. Yeah, that was a punt. We could have, oh, I forgot that the land triggers it, but it does. Well, steal a clue, mill the land, hit ya, about it. Maybe just milling one is fine, we'll see. Did they leave two lands on top? Wow, sex a clue, opponent's getting desperate. Do you find a land? No. Goes attacking, sure. We will take it, no blocks. 
We keep that ether vial on two. I don't even think we ever use this vial. We just want our opponent not to have it. Another land. Well, correct the clue. There's the Karn. Tap land. Mill you. Go to combat. Hit you. Wow, we milled another land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I was our opponent, I'd be a little salty. Just a just a tiny bit. Goes to combat. Uh, attacks us. Sure, we take it. Down to 14. I mean, technically, we're winning the race right now. All right, opponent does find their land. Another Aether Vial. And a Stoneforge Mystique. Well, we're probably going to have to kill that. What does our opponent get? Do they go big with the Cauldra? Mortipod. Huh, interesting. Well, we will... Yeah, let's Lightning Bolt Stoneforge. Untap. Vile stand the same. Play a Karn. Mill our opponent. Tick down the Karn. Get a Liquid Metal Coating. And, I mean, this should be the win next turn with this Healy combo. About it. Vile cannot be activated. Yeah, our opponent, they're going to need, like, instant speed hate of some kind. All right, opponent's going to try to hit the Karn, which makes sense. They're worried about us killing their lands. I don't know if people expect this combo yet, but we just get to go infinite with Artifacts of Healy. Opponent, Ephemerate. All right, so opponent's going to eat all of our stuff. I still don't think this matters. Goes to combat. Kills a card. Sure. Mortipod. Oh, no, the Mortipod actually. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that, that does slow us down by a turn, doesn't it? Because that can kill the Saheeli. All right, that's awkward. Well, yeah, might as well take it up. Doesn't really matter. Liquid Metal Torque. Well, play Liquid Metal Torque. Mill our opponent. Play Anger of the Gods. Opponent pings us. Sure. Yeah, that was actually really big. This Mortipod. Ugh, this Mortipod can ruin our Saheeli chain, right? Create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature, so it negative twos. Actually, maybe that doesn't matter. Huh, maybe it doesn't matter. Does it not? Opponent, Flicker Wisp. Gonna get back their ether vial. Sure. Well, I mean, we're gonna go for it. Play the land. There's no mortar pod, so this should definitely do it. Play the land, Milia. Crack the land, Milia. Play Sahili. Milia. Turn Sahili into an artifact. And this lets Sahili copy itself. And this is Infinite Mill, and this is a game. Basically, it's kind of like Splinter Twin. <laughs> Except now we got more Liquid Metal Codigs to make it more consistent, and we have Urza Saga to find Altar of the Brood, and Karn, I guess. I don't think there's a way our opponent disrupts us with the Vial on two. Okay. I mean, Solitude, as good as it is, does not hit Planeswalkers. Yeah, so I guess Mortipod would fizzle it, right? Because Mortipod... Mortipod would fizzle. We were correct to begin with. Because it's at one loyalty, it's targeting itself. If our opponent Mortipods, it would fizzle. Opponent. Sure. So we keep the new Saheeli. Mill you. New Saheeli targets itself. And we just do this until our opponent runs out of cards. Unless they have mill hate, this should be game. And there's no way you're bringing in mill hate against this deck. No way. Sahili, Sahili. I mean, technically, if you just draw this naturally, this combo can win on turn three. Or infinitely mill, at least, on turn three, which that's faster than Splinter Twin. Why is Splinter Twin still banned? <laughs> Same colors, cheaper. I mean, I guess it. I guess the biggest difference is it takes three pieces. You got to have the altar of the brood. An opponent sees what's happening, sees their deck flashing before their eyes, and scoops it up. And that was a insanely good performance. In game one, we got to see the prison aspects of the deck, just like stealing our opponent's stuff, eating their land. And then game two, we got to see the the combo finish. Huh? That actually worked surprisingly well. All right, on to the next. Sweet, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are cool. We're gonna keep this because if we just throw Sahili, we win. We have turn one Ultra the Brood, turn two Liquid Metal, like top deck Sahili game. Worst case, we can start blowing stuff up with a braid. Yes, and I mean, we don't really need two Liquid Metals, but still, hand's pretty good. If only one of our Liquid Metal was, was a Sahili, then this would be the, the absolute nut draw. Uh, all right, so, um, yeah, let's just Island and Ultra the Brood. Go. Opponent, Taplin. Ragabon. Hmm. Maybe we just dash this. Scalding Tarn. Mill you. Crack Scalding Tarn. Get a mountain. Mill you. 
Actually, do we? It's actually a tough decision. I mean, I guess next turn we can coding crack the treasure braid, but we still don't get to keep the Ragavan. Yeah, all right, let's uh, let's just liquid metal coding. The upside of just running out liquid metal coding is that leaves us live for Sahili winning the game. Like we draw Sahili, we win the game. I guess doing it this way also means if our opponent doesn't play a blocker, we can dash Ragavan, use the treasure to a braid. There's the amulet and a castle Garenbrig and abundant harvest. All right. Well, come on, Art of... Oh, another amulet. Yikes. All right, all right, all right. That's scary. Well, we untap. What do we draw? Sahili, please. Oh, Blood Moon. Okay. Uh, new plan. New plan has been assembled. Uh, <laughs> Alter the Brood Milieu. Crack Flooded Strand. Get a Island. Milieu. And Blood Moon. Milieu. Go. Oh, we milled two forests, too, which is nice. All right, that seems reasonable. This makes the amulets pretty bad because all of our opponent's lands are coming to play untapped anyway because they're mountains. <laughs> Ragavan. Um, so let's let's play liquid metal torque. Mill you. Play a rag. Yeah, let's just play. You know what? Let's dash Ragavan. You know what? Let's just cast Ragavan. Mill you. Pass the turn. Well, opponent's got to find a forest to have any any hope. I think opponent passes. Another liquid metal. Go to combat. Attack ya. Get a treasure. Mill ya. Exile a land. Um, yeah, I guess we just pass. A braid, I think we... Okay, they're gonna get a forest. I think we want to hold on to a braid. Because a braid lets us kill a dryad of the Ilsen Grove. Explore. Well, now that they have a forest, we might kill it. They probably don't have that many forests in their deck. A boat it. Passing. Let's... Liquid metal coating the forest. A braid it. Untap. Sahili. Steam vents. We'll play Steam vents. Mill ya. Go to combat. Hit ya. Hitting a Primeval Titan would be hilarious. We hit a land. We make a treasure. Yeah, I guess we just pass. <laughs> oh, we just need a way to finish out the game. Opponent. Mountain. Passes. Thieving Skydiver. Go to combat. Hit ya. Come on, Primeval Titan. Ragavan. Steals a Abriel Grazer. Well, I guess we play it. Oh, good buddy Grazer. It's a mill one. That's still good. Mill and Urza Saga, no land. Do we even Thieving Skydiver? Now well, let's play Liquid Metal Torque. I don't think we Skydiver. Mill ya. Pass the turn. How long does our opponent keep going is the question. I guess we're not killing them very quickly. Ragavan. Well, go to combat. Hit ya. Come on, Primeval Titan. It's gotta have been one of these days. Opponent. Ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Busted monkey! Busted monkey! Okay, that should do it. Primeval Titan. Pretty good. Mill. Uh, yes, we will get some lands. A uh, couple of scalding tarns. Millia, millia, millia. Okay, well. <laughs> nice Primeval Titan. Nice Primeval Titan. Opponent, mountain. And it scoops it up. <laughs> It took a lot of Ragavan attacks, but we did get there. We got there eventually. All right, Primeval Titan, probably just Ether Gusts in, I guess. Ether Gusts in. Maybe go down Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt doesn't kill anything relevant. And does Pithy Needle do anything? Not really, I don't think. I mean, neither does Pyrae Spellbomb. At least Pyrae Spellbomb cycles. And we probably do want a couple of Urza Saga targets. Yeah, let's let's just do that. Go down the bowl, scope the Aether Gus, and hope we draw our Blood Moons. Well, we never found the Sahili, but apparently just Blood Mooning and then and then Ragavaning until eventually we hit a good card is enough. Ooh. All right. Well, this is, well, hmm, this is interesting. We got the Blood Moon, but it's a tiny bit slow. We'll see. We'll see if it's fast enough. I do like the Aether Gus. And we do have Sahili if we can eventually get to it. Opponent tap land passes. Ragavan. Liquid metal torque. That's actually kinda sweet. That helps with Sahili. Sun home. Opponent. Passing. Won't crack this. Get a steam vents tapped. Untap. Play Urza Saga. Pass the turn. So next turn we can liquid metal torque. And then the following turn, we should be able to just see Healy combo. And doing it this way lets us leave up Ether Gust both turns. Cavern, Andariad, Tireless Tracker. Well, I think we're still going to Ether Gust that. Puts it to the bottom. Ugh. This is actually a tough choice. Do we just Blood Moon? Or do we try to combo kill? I guess we see what we draw. Ragavan. There's a Saga Triggers. Yeah, let's play the Island. Let's Liquid Metal Torque. Let's. You know what? Let's just cast Ragavan. Cast Ragavan. 
We're going for the win. We're going for the win. I think we got to wait until this Urza saga finishes for us to Blood Moon. Because if uh, we need the we need the altar of the brood, basically. Pona has Urza saga. I mean, if things look sketchy, we can still just Blood Moon. Pona, here comes the Dryad. Yup. And passing Urza Saga, float mana, get Altar of the Brood. Mm. So if our pony has Artifact Hate, it beats us. I guess that beats a Blood Moon too, though. They do have a mana up. Well, let's Scalding Tarn, mill you. Crack it, get a Island, mill you. Play Blood Moon. Yeah, we're going to wait one more turn and try to get... Try to get a artifact or enchantment removal spell out of our opponents. Oh, are we not floating mana? Oh, we already have the mana floating. I see. I see. Let's do it this way. Blood Moon. Mill you. Pass the turn. Well, now our opponent did not float the mana in response. So now we should be, well, we'll see. Hopefully safe to combo next turn. About it. Explosives on one. That's actually kind of annoying. That does stop the... That does stop the combo. Well, now we need to draw something else. Pona hits us. Down to 16. We draw. Urza Saga. Well, we will place a Healy. Scry to the bottom. Sulfur Falls. Go. Yeah, now that the Altar of the Brood's down, we make infinite Sahilis, but they don't do anything. About it. Going to go to combat. Hit us. Thankfully, the Blood Moon is keeping our opponent from doing anything at the moment. Vesuva. Oh, more lands. So many lands. Scry with Sahili. Spellbomb to the bottom. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent. What happens to Vesuva if the Blood Moon goes away? Is it just a land that's nothing? Opponent hits Sahili. Passes. Liquid Metal Coating. Well, Scry with Sahili. Definitely putting the land to the bottom. Playing the mountain. Oh! Yeah, I think if we had went for it, we would have won. I mean, we still might be okay, but eventually your opponent's going to draw a forest or an answer to the Blood Moon. And then, okay, well, there's the draw. Yup. Well, maybe, do they have that the whole time? Who knows? Yeah, I wonder if we should have just went for it. I don't know. We definitely have flooded out brutally. About it. Amulet. Urza Saga. Could use another Blood Moon. Thieving Skydiver. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. So we get to play Liquid Metal Coating. Play Urza Saga. The question is, what do we take? Pro it's got to be Dryad, right? It's got to be Dryad. Target Dryad. Thieving Skydiver. Kick it. Steal the Dryad. Pass the turn. Green Bounce Land is still pretty scary. Yeah, Vesuva's nothing now. All right, yeah, there's a Saga. Yeah, so this... <laughs> it's a land that does literally nothing. Summoner's Pact from Evil Titan. So they got the, the Green Bounce Land. They must. Or our opponent punted. All right, there it is. All right, so I get to Primeval Titan. Well, I guess we'll see what we draw. Wow, opponent passes. Interesting. Wait, why did they not? Why did they not cast Primeval? Oh, they don't have the mana for it. They need double green. Okay, Saga triggers. We go to combat. We hit ya. Wow, and then our opponent has to take another turn off because of this. Yeah, pass the turn. They should at least. Yeah, here comes the the construct. Then they lose her as a Saga. They have to put all their mana into paying for. Yeah, this, this Vesuva not being a real land is really... Wait, our opponent loses. They made a construct. Whoa! <laughs> what a punt! <laughs> I don't know if I've... I don't know if I've... Wow, that's something I've never seen before. That's something I've never seen before. Opponent, opponent made a construct, and now they died as Summoner's Pact. Vesuva! Vesuva having no... <laughs> yeah, this, this is something I've never, I've never seen. Vesuva not being able to tap for mana because it came into play under a Blood Moon. And then our opponent, I mean, our opponent could have paid, although they still would be. Although they would probably still be in a bit of trouble because they got to take this turn off. And then they still need, oh, there's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, if we're top decking Karn next turn, even if they paid for the pact, we're probably in fine shape because Karn, we get to make two big constructs. To clog up the ground, Karn can start eating away lands, and then I think we should just be good. <laughs> That was an interesting, interesting game. That's for sure. Sweet, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are liquid comboing. Eh, we're going to keep this. Could use a liquid metal coating or liquid metal torque, but I mean, we're on the play. We got turn one Ragavan. Ragavan. Uh, Steam vents, untapped. Monkey time. Go. The rest of our hand really wants a liquid metal card of some type. Like, all these cards are kind of okay now, but become really good if we find a, a liquid metal 
Torque or whatever. Opponent going to bolt our Ragamont. Galvanic Blast our Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> that makes things much more interesting. If our opponent is just playing an artifact deck naturally, which presumably they're playing a decent amount of artifacts if they're playing Galvanic Blast, uh, then this hand might be good without the Liquid Metal card. Opponent does not crack the bobble. Underworld Cookbook. Yeah, we might want to get in on that action. Misty. Um, ha. Huh. Okay. Steam vents. Untapped. Are we discarding and asmoring? Uh, I think that's the plan. Our opponent forgot they got a... Oh, no. They have the daredevil. All right, that's awkward. Sure. And then asmore. All right. Well, we will... We will kill it. Opponent gets another cookbook. Sags the bobble, draws a card. I'll play the land, thieving skydiver. I think we are gonna steal the cookbook. They got another one because of Asmore, so that's not not as good as it could be. But we really don't want our opponent to just go off with this daredevil. Cookbook returns. Do they have another Asmore? Yeah, we're kind of drawing a lot of lands now. Emery mills some cards. Well, we can kill the Emery. No Asmore is nice. Ooh, there's a Karn. Ooh. Oh, 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 I would really like to play this Karn, but, oh, actually, I think we can play the Karn, right? We play the Karn, they can Emery, but they can't activate the Bobble. Yeah, let's play a Mountain, play a Karn. Opponent, gonna discard where they can. Well, kill a food, pass the turn. So our opponent can Emery back the Bobble, but they can't crack it. Why not take up Karn? Because if we take it down, it gets got by bolt if we tick up ones first it doesn't opponent ragavan okay goes to combat karn and face huh they're going face i don't kill the emery this ragavan hits i think okay they get a treasure but they can't do anything with it they exile thieving skydiver but they can't do anything with it yeah karn seems decent against our opponent's deck at the moment oh there's another emery all right mill some cards well let's see what we find something good Ooh, thieving skydiver that's reasonably effective so now we gotta think take down karn yes get a liquid metal coating steam vents untapped Play liquid metal coating. Huh. Now what? Our main goal is to keep the Karn alive. Could steal a land. And then, yeah, that's probably worth it. All right, liquid metal coating, steam vents, kick a skydiver, steal the land. Pass the turn. Now our opponent shouldn't be able to dash Ragavan and Bolt unless they draw land. Opponent. Ragavan. Dash, dash, dash. Goes to combat. Karn and Karn. Well, we will kill the Ragavan. Opponent passes. Ooh, 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 that we like. Well, we will liquid metal coating your land. Take up Karn. Get rid of your land. Liquid metal torque. And opponent. <laughs> Is that enough? Okay. Wow. Maybe this deck's just good. Maybe this deck's just actually somehow crazily effective uh okay what are we what are we doing what are we doing now um so opponent appears to have a lot of stuff we would like to kill we have good answers to artifacts kind of incidentally thanks to karn and <laughs> all of our artifact haste spells which are in here to deal with hmm <clears throat> is this a bad blood moon matchup maybe we can probably at least trim let's trim two blood moons go up to anger of the gods do we go down all the blood moons yeah they have treasures they can cast stuff for red mana yeah let's go down the all the blood moons go up another lightning bolt and uh and an ether gust try it like that yeah i think our opponent between treasures and having red cards i think they can do enough enough even without a even through a blood moon sand's actually pretty pretty fast at comboing potentially opponent scalding tarn passes we will play a scalding tarn and pass the big question is going to be when do we play the urza saga opponent misty rainforest cracks it forest renin six all right that's some value we'll get a steam vents tapped Opponent seems to kind of be playing around Blood Moon. Red and six gets back a land. Um, well, we'll play an island and a liquid metal torque. Yo. Underworld cookbook. I mean, I guess this lets us kill the kill the Ren and Six eventually. Oh, Asmore. Alright, that's that's an issue. Scalding Tarn cracks it. Alright, opponent's off to a much faster start this time. Could use some removals. Cookbooks for days, takes up Ren and Six. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, play Urza Saga. We're probably going to need the combo. Play Urza Saga. Play Karn. I mean, our plan is to slow our opponent down. We need to deal with the Asmore, because the Asmore can... Well, actually, I guess we don't. Well, we still might, but... Opponent discards. Yeah, makes food, gets it back, etc., etc. Well, we get a Karn. Karn can eat a little bit of our opponent's food. Pass the turn. Can they kill the Karn? Yeah, Karn actually seems pretty well positioned at the moment in the, in the current modern meta. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Give us your best shot. The main challenge is going to be getting our opponent tapped down or out. So they can't kill the Sahili when we go to combo. Next turn should be interesting. Next turn, we'll see what our opponent does. But we can steal the Asmore or we can steal the Ren in six. Opponent going to hit the Karn, I assume. Down to three. You got a bolt. I mean, if they got the bolt, at least it gets it out of our opponent's hand. Hits the card. And stomping grounds tapped. Opponent passes. All right, so Urza Saga triggers. We will take up Karn on the food. Scalding Tarn. Crack it for an island. Liquid Metal Torque. Ren and Six. And kick a Thieving Skydiver? Steal the Ren and Six. <laughs> this deck's hilarious, and it's kind of working. Yoink. And then take up Ren and Six for a Scalding Tarn. And pass the turn. Opponent attacks. I mean, opponent needs something or else we just go infinite. Combat attacks the Karn. I think we will chump block. Island for our opponent. Finale Devastation X3. I mean, probably getting Emery, I guess. I don't even know. I mean, I think this means we win, though. Unless our opponent has a force negation, this should mean that we just go infinite. About it. Trying to make their wisest decision, but... Wow, this deck is kind of crushing people, Rexage. Oh, all right. That actually keeps our opponent in the game for now. Well, opponent remains alive. No, actually, does it? I guess it doesn't, because we can use Karn. One? Yeah, we should. One, one, two, three. Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. Untap. Uh, we will run in six, kill the Rex Age, Karn, sideboard tutor, get a Altar of the Brood, uh, play an Island, play an Altar of the Brood, play Sahili, mill you, Liquid Metal Torque Sahili, and well, we'll see. Unless our opponent has Mill Hate, this is game. Sahili, Sahili, mill, 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 mill. Well, we'll see if our opponent has a way to beat it. Sahili's, Sahili's, and we got the GG's. Whoo! All right, this deck's crushing it. It's crushing it. Three up, three down. The kids are already eating. Wow. Wow, that's way better than I thought. All right, so sweet. Oh, this deck's so sweet. This deck is awesome. This deck combines together jankiness, which I love, with blood moons and prison strategies, which I love, with weird combos that no one plays, which I love. Like, this is this is the, the triple threat of a... <laughs> of modern jank and it's three and oh that's i guess that's four threes sweet 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 much brew about nothing time we are sahili comboing and well, we're keeping this we're missing we're missing alter the brood to actually win but we got a good curve ragavan into torque into potentially steal land on turn three and then if we ever find our alter of the brood we should be able to just immediately win in theory well steam vents untapped and monk a time ragavan go would be nice if we could get in a hit with it but not not the end of the world either way it is a one drop that people need to answer though like getting hit by ragavan is pretty painful scalding tar cracks it steam vents and flame slash interesting well steam vents untapped and liquid metal torque go flooded strand for our opponent and pass it well, play an island. Actually, let's play another Torque. Can never have too many Torques. Pass the turret. So I think we're going to abrade on our opponent's end step, then untap and try to steal the land. At least that's our that's our plan. Uh, so Liquid Metal Torque. Oh, that's right. Torque is bad. I forgot about that. All right. Maybe you can have too many Torques. <laughs> we got the bad one. Uh, well... Yes, yeah, Sahili. Will this bring out the counter? Yeah, Liquid Metal Torque. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the non-land mode. Well, we get to Scry, which is something. Ragavan. Um, I'm to the bottom. I think we're on try to find Alter the Brew to win the game mode. Or find Liquid Metal Coating so we can blow up lands. 
opponent, Archmage's Charm. So I assume that where this is heading is Emrakul through the Breach. Blowing up lands would allow us to stop that, but ooh, opponents look, oh man, being able to hit lands would be so good here. Opponent finds the land. Oh, this would go so much better if we could, if we could blow up lands. Urza Saga, well, Scry with Zaheeli. Urza Saga, I guess to the bottom. Play Urza Saga. Ooh, I don't know if we can live long enough. I take back that you can never have too many Liquid Metal Torque statements. Yeah, you can see the, the downside of Liquid Metal Torque compared to Coding, which is if we had Coding, we'd be winning this game easily. With Torque, not so much. Opponent's going to bolt Sahili. I mean, attacking Sahili is fine. I'm just worried about losing to an Emrakul. <sighs> we need to make it until, until this Urza Saga comes off. Suspend or whatever. Blood Moon. All right. Well, that makes it harder. Opponent passing. Do we want to kill the Blood Moon? We can. Does it even matter at this point? I mean, we have Blood Moons too. Yeah, let's let's wait. Well, Scry with Zaheeli. Flooded Strand to the bottom. Play a Flooded Strand past the turn. Opponent attempts. I feel like when they draw land five, we die. Bolt Zaheeli. Opponent. Well, let's Liquid Metal Torque. Abrade the Blood Moon. Crack Flooded Strand, get an island, untap, more islands. This is going poorly in a lot of ways, pass the turn. We could play Saheeli, but our opponent's pretty clearly representing something. Opponent, yeah, they if they draw land, they got us, I, I'm sure. Opponent passes. Not dead yet? Not dead yet. Ragavan. Well, let's dash Ragavan. Go to combat. Do you have removal? Snapcaster for Bolt. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, this is the worst our deck has looked by far. It might partly be the matchup, but opponent going to fire away the Ragavan. Oh, they're just going to block. Okay. So we're going to try to ice and draw a land to win with Emrakul. Sahili. Opponent counter spells. All right, your go. Is it a land? Are we dead? It's going to happen eventually. Opponent passing. Way draw. Pyrite spell bomb. Which I guess we sack to draw a card. Ugh, yeah, boy. If we just had the other the other liquid metal, if we had coding, this end would have been so different. Opponent. Snapcaster for opt. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe they don't have Emergo through the breach, although that is the entire point of their deck to the bottom. Untaps. Land. Wow. No Emrakul through the breach? Okay. Hits us. Maybe they're just playing control and not breaching Emrakul to win. Opponent passes. Sahili. Well, we will Liquid Metal Torque. Shenanigans. <sighs> Pass the turn. Oh, boot it. Cryptic Command bounces a Torque, draws a card. I guess our opponent could also be afraid that we have a counter and they're waiting on the through the breach. Opponent ops. Passes. All right, we will not dredge. More lands. Well, replay the torque. Opponent probably thinks these cards we've been holding all game are our counters. That might be the thing that's keeping us alive is our opponents. Oh, here they go. Oh, is this another cryptic? Pause for a minute. Make them think we got a counter. Okay, sure. We don't want to counter that. <laughs> uh, put it. I still think they're breaching Emrakul. They either haven't found it yet or are trying to wait until they can play around us having a counter spell. Haven't found it yet seems unlikely because they're halfway through their deck. Opponent. Merktide Regent. Ah, apparently that's what our opponent's doing. That's actually going to kill us super quickly. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. Ticks up. Well, we'll see what counters our opponent has. Hilariously, if they can't counter this thieving skydiver, it's actually insane here. Uh, no dredging. Well, we will, we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Jace, artifact, skydiver, kick it. Please no counters. Doesn't get got by force negation, which is nice. All right, steal the Jace. <laughs> and bounce the Murktide region. Wow, if our opponent's trying to win with fair cards instead of Emrakul, that bodes well for us. And now we're the one with the chase. Opponent. And we found a card. Actually, this, wow, this might be coming together. I mean, we're still at risk of Emrakul through the breach if our opponent's playing that. Not especially worried about Murktide because we can just bounce it again. All right, kills the Skydiver. Do you have it? Cryptic to pick up the Jace again. Opponent passing. Um, no dredge this turn. We will... 
play Sahili. Opponent counters. Well, we will play Karn. Do you also have force negation? No. All right, well, tick down Karn. Get a Pithing Needle, Scalding Tarn, Crack It, Island, Needle. Jason Mind Sculptor. Better card to name than all. <laughs> Go. All right. I mean, we're sticking around. The opponent plays a land. Rail. Okay, gonna draw some cards. How many counters do they have? So opponent, gonna region again. Yeah. And, oh, they got two? <gasps> well, maybe this is okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We know one of their cards is a Jace. Cryptic is the card that's gonna beat us here because we can get a bridge. We can dread shenanigans, kill Rao, get a bridge. We know there's a Jace in hand. It's, oh, the cryptics are gone. All right. Well, opponent's gonna need like a cryptic or an abraid or have their last unknown be forced to negation. So dread shenanigans, Rao, make it an artifact, kill it. Karn, tick down, ensnaring bridge. Play the bridge. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if they got the answer. Opponent taps, Jace is useless. What are the other cards? Oh, they really do have cryptic? Oh, okay, Jace, that's that's fine. That doesn't do anything. Sure, 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 sure. Bolts the Karn, sure, 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 sure. Passing. Well, dread shenanigans. Liquid Metal Torque. Make region an artifact. Kill it. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Passes. Well, dread shenanigans. Torque. The Murktide region. Kill it. All right, opponent counters. Sure. We can do this all day. <laughs> Literally. We can do this 35 more times. Uh oh. Red mana? Uh. Opponent passing. Well, dread shenanigans. Torque. Kill it. Pass the tur. Opponent adapts. Passes. I think we stopped dredging for now. Ragavan. All right, well, dash a Ragavan. Go to combat, attack you. Oh, that, I'm an idiot. Ha 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 ha. That's right. <laughs> That's right, we got it at Staring Bridge. Just kidding. We're do that was a flex. That was just a flex. Opponent, Archmage's time to draw some cards. Ops. Opponent does need a way to win the game. They are down to 17 cards in their deck. They are gonna mill out before us. Opponent passes. Um, no dredge this turn. Now well, let's dash Ragavan. This time it can actually attack. Go to combat. Opponent kills it. Well, play a torque. Go. I mean, I guess the question is what answers they have to artifacts. All right, abrades the pithing needle to turn on Jace. Not ideal. Brainstorms with Jace, also not super ideal. Well, they did have artifact answers. Crags Flooded Strand. It's a triome, down to 14 cards. Well, I think it's shenanigans time. Wait, opponent, Blood Moon, sure. Well, shenanigans, Liquid Metal Torque. Target Jace. Shenanigans Jace. Pass the turn. Wow, we might actually be trying to mill our opponent out here. Opponent, untaps. Jace. Well, we can do that again. Takes up Jace. Opponent passing. Well, shenanigans. Jace. If they ever counter the shenanigans, then we can try to thieving skydiver. Shenanigans, Jace. Shenanigans been living up to its name this game. Opponent counters. Well, we will kick a skydiver. See if they have another counter. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. We got off to a really slow start, but the shenanigans combo ended up being insane. Like we were able, we never find liquid metal coating to blow up lands, but we killed so many busted things with shenanigans. Like that was, that was really good. Well, mystical disputes in. We don't have the best sideboard for this matchup. Blood Moon's out. Lightning Bolt in. Do we even want an Ether Gust? I mean, we might have to Ether Gust just because what else are we gonna do? Yeah, all right. Well, wrong like that. See if we can do that again. <laughs> that was like the slowest jankiest lockout. Ooh. Well, hopefully when we get down this liquid metal coating, that would be sweet. Um, well, Mountain and Ragavan. 
Don't bolt it, please. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Red source. Untapped. Bolts. Yeah, makes sense. About it. Island. Passes. Well, scalding tarn. Yeah, crack it. Get an island. Liquid metal coating. Opponent's got the counter spell. Untaps. Without a liquid metal coating, our hand gets a lot worse. Land for our opponent. Passing. Liquid metal coating. Oh my god, another one. Ugh, so many counters. Yeah, all right. Well, opponent has had all the answers so far. Can they follow it up with a Jace? We are missing land drops. Blood Moon, sure. Well, we are going to play a Thieving Skydiver with no kicker. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent, or er, land for our opponent. All right, land, please. All right, there's a land. Sahili. Opponent finally out of counter. Scry. Looking for land. We do not want Lightning Bolt. Pass the turn. Opponent passing. Well, Scry with Sahili. Island to the top. Pass the turn. Opponent attacks. Relic Progenitus, sure. That does stop shenanigans. Draws a card. Land. I mean, we're slamming this Karn. Scry with Sahili. Ragavan. You know what? Maybe we keep Ragavan. We can dash it. Well, play a Karn. Resolves. Take down a Karn. Liquid Metal Coating. We're gonna keep trying to resolve a Liquid Metal Coating, because if we ever do, our hand is stocked. Opponent. Archmage's turn to draw cards. Bolts the Karn. Land. Can they stop the Coating? All right, Liquid Metal Coating. Scry with Sahili. Skydiver. We have enough artifact destruction. Let's go bottom. Pass the turn. See what our opponent does. Well, now we can start blowing up lands at the at worst. About it. Tapping a lot of mana. Magmatic sinkhole. Well, we will liquid metal coating. Abrade the land. Sahili loses some loyalty. Well, scry with Sahili. Urza Saga. Really bad with Blood Moon out. Uh, Dash Ragavan. Hit ya. Get a treasure. Steal a cryptic. Well, I'm glad that's not on the on the board. Well, let's shenanigans a land. Pass the turn. Opponent island. Passing. Yeah, dread shenanigans. Scry with Sahili. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep the land. Dash Ragavan. Hit ya. Exile. Snapcaster. Uh, yeah, we'll just. Target the land. Shenanigans. Pass the turn. An opponent. Done. Whoo! Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Sahili crushing it. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> surprisingly sweet, sweet, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are comboing. Liquid metal comboing in modern and... We will see, we will see. Ooh, all right. Well, I don't necessarily like this pithing needle in hand, but liquid metal coating, Sahili, thieving skydiver, seems fine. Yeah, we'll keep it. Oh, bonus, sacred foundry, tapped. Well, steam vents, tapped. No sense in running this needle out without knowing what our opponent's doing. I guess we could name like a fetch land, but cracks it. Breeding pool, ooh, is this like a, a zoo deck? Don't copy us. Oh, elementals. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't know if that's good or bad. Flooded Strand. Crack... Uh, probably bad. Crack Flooded Strand. Get an island. Liquid Metal Coating. Go. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana. Usually you don't see Smoke Braider in elementals, but looking good here. Risen Reef. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're getting pretty far behind. Opponent draws a card. Adds mana. Elemental. Voice of Resurgence. Hoo! Yacht, 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 yacht. Well, we'll see. Opponent passes. It's a lot of card draw. Ragavan. Well, we will sulfur. Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's scalding tarn. What we really need is to find our one of Ultra the Brood to go infinite. Grab an island. Liquid metal coating. What? What land hurts our opponent most? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess we take breeding pool. I mean, I don't think it really matters because our opponent has a smoke breeder going. That's the big problem. Thieving skydiver. Yoink. I mean, at least this helps slow our opponent down a little bit. I'll take the breeding pool. Pass the turn. And then the other upside of this is the extra land means that next turn, we might be able to steal a non-land. Like, maybe we can just steal the smoke breeder and slow our opponent's mana down. 
Also, the, uh, opponent's got a few things that are a problem. Smoke Raider's mana is a problem. Risen Reef Guard Draw is a problem. Opponent Temple Garden making some elemental mana. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, this is bad. This is real bad. Yeah, the Smoke Raider is running away with the game. Okay, Alter the Brood. <laughs> Somehow Alter the Brood before we die, which is going to come really quickly because this Titania is going to make a bunch of big things. We can't steal Titania. Wow, it is elemental too. Yes, yeah, this, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh no. Is our 5-0 Dream going to die in the last round? And it triggers Risen Reef? Oh, this is absurd. This is so good. Yeah, well, I mean, we have the solution. The solution is to find liquid metal coating and find it basically right now. Opponent, Risen Reef, Tutors, stacks it. Huh, okay. Gets a land. Yeah, we have like a turn. Two turns, maybe. Omna oh my god, Omnath too. Okay, goes attacking. Oh, we're not going to block that. Liquid metal coating? Or Alter of the Brood, I mean? Sahili. Ooh, how much do we show? I mean, we got to stay in it because we could. All right, what's our best best plan i think we can survive a turn so play sahili scry with sahili scalding tarn is not liquid metal coating play ragavan piffing needle windswept heath our opponent's deck looks sweet elementals with titania is sweet um yeah i guess we just named windswept heath so they can't crack it and make another elemental all right well i think we get one more turn i think we get one more turn we can chump block stay alive Got to pray our opponent does not find some sort of interaction. And we basically got a top one in 40, one in 47. Although we spread to the bottom, one in 46. We need to top deck the altar of the brood. That would be the top deck of the century. Risen Rave triggers. Opponent draws some cards. Blood Moon seems good against our opponent's deck. I mean, the Smoke Braider is a problem. We didn't have an answer to the Smoke Braider and it just went off. Wooded Foothills cracks it. Elemental. Might have to try this build of Elemental sometime. It looks it looks fun. I've been wanting to play a Titania deck. I would prefer not to lose our 5-0 to this deck, but opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes a bunch of mana. Omnath busted. Six cards in hand. Every card draws more cards. What did they? Oh, all right. They want to crack the, the fetch land. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're just saying it for one top deck. <laughs> The odds are tiny. We're on a, on a like very close to one percenter. Kills a Sahili, also not relevant. Wait, how are we losing all of our stuff? Oh, Omnath, last mode. Yeah, opponent is snowballing like crazy. Noble Hierarch. Getting out of Blood Moon would be big game against this deck. Opponent, what do you got? What do you got? Goes to combat. Come on, magic gods. Smile upon Sahili. The big attack. I mean, we're not playing for the long game. We're, we're, we're. Playing to get one draw at winning. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter. Soak up damage. Is it Alter the Brood? One out of 46. Survey says. Shenanigans. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was impressive elemental snowball. We will bring in, let's see. Anger of the God seems very good. Lightning Bolt seems necessary. The question's going to be, what can we cut? Blood Moon also seems good. A lot of times we're going down the Blood Moon going up these cards, but in this matchup, I don't think that we can. Maybe we can trim Liquid Metal Torque? Maybe we like go down a Shenanigans, go down a Liquid Metal Torque. I mean, Ether Gust would be good too. Ugh. All right, go down Shenanigans. Ragavan is decent on the play. Oh, I want to fit in some Ether Gust. Oh, is four Liquid Metals too few? Probably. Ugh. All right, let's try it like this. So we're minimizing our artifact destruction plan a little bit. Maximizing our don't run us over with elementals immediately plan. I think that's the first game we've lost with this deck. Well, okay, we got removal. We got removal, which is good. That means the crazy snowball that happened last game should not happen this game. We don't have a Blood Moon or a Liquid Metal card. We're also on the play, which I think will make a difference. We might have had a better shot at stopping the snowball last game if we were on the on the play. Yeah, opponent's deck looks sweet. I've always liked elementals, but our opponent's deck has a, a more go big plan, which I kind of like. All right, opponent figures out their mulligans. Well, steam vents tapped, go. Could use more lands too to get to like Sahili and Karn. Oh, uh, boot it. Like one more land for Sahili to start scrying would be nice. Sacred Foundry, tapped, opponent uh, passing. Um, tap land go. Come on land, come on land. Wooded foothills, opponent cracks it. The worst thing here is probably, I guess, voice of resurgence. That's the one thing we can't easily kill. Forest, 
Voice resurgence. The one thing we can't easily kill. That is annoying. Opponent passes. Do we draw land? Please, magic gods. Land? All right, there's a land. Well, we are going to start scrying with Sahili to make sure we hit our land drops. Well, Urza Saga counts enough. Pass the turn. Urza Saga is also nice because that's going to help us get to get our Ultra of the Brood to potentially combo. Breeding pool. Untapped. All right, so opponent answers Sahili. Hits us. Down to 18. Well, play Urza Saga. Karn. Prismatic Ending seems like a big deal for our opponent's deck, too. Karn Tick Down. Get a Liquid Metal Coating. Pass the turn. If we can start eating lands with Karn, that'd be a big game. Opponent Combat. Hits the Karn. Sure. And there's a Risen Reef. Do they hit a land? They do. All right. Well, oh, we draw the Ultra. The, that's awkward. Well, well, well. We will Liquid Metal Coating. Hmm. Go after the Breeding Pool. Eat the breeding pool. Bolt the Risen Reef. Play an Altar the Brood. Well, this means we're currently set up so if we ever draw Sahili, we can combo. We are going to lose our Karn, which isn't great. Opponent, combat, attacks. Yes, Voice of Resurgence is doing some work for our opponent. Karn down, for now. It's a big turn to see if our opponent has a land. Our right, opponent does. Temple Garden untapped. Cracks. All right, what's coming down? Omnath? Looks like Omnath. All right, there's the Omnath. Opponent gets to draw a card. We untap. Sahili, please? No. Well, float a mana. Get a Pyrite spell bomb. Mill our opponent a little bit. Target Omnath with liquid metal coating. Flooded Strand. Mill you. Blow up Omnath. Pass the turn. So I think our plan is if our opponent plays something good, we can Pyrite spell bomb to get rid of voice and then ether gust it and then if we can get down well yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna bother with that and then if we can get down this karn on an empty board it should be excellent all right double ignoble hierarch well maybe we still kill it might be worth it opponent goes to combat going to attack yeah let's let's spell bomb it get rid of the voice opponent gets a token do we play karn Prismatic ending on liquid metal. Hmm, that's awkward. Very, very awkward. Two cards in hand. Well, crack flooded strand. We just need Sahili. That is, that is it. If we hit Sahili, we just win. Let's ether gust the token. Opponent gets milled. Well, we will Karn. Mill you. Well, getting rid of Titania is not bad. Take down Karn for who? Oh, <laughs> what are we going for? Ooh! Ensnaring Bridge could be good. It doesn't stop the Hierarchs, though. Liquid Metal Torque turns on the Abrade. We gotta get Torque. We gotta get Torque. We need to leave the Draw Sahelian Win combo alive. Unfortunately, Torque means we can't eat a land with Karn. It does mean we can kill anything with a Braid, though, which is something. Yeah, a little, little scared of where we're at. If our opponent, like, has a Titania, that's going to build a big board really quickly. We couldn't end up regretting not getting Ensnaring Bridge. Oh, I just, we, I think we want to be live to Sahili. We got three in our deck. Opponent Combat going to hit the Karn, down to one. Sure. Prismatic Ending seems like a huge deal for five-color elementals. Yep, Karn down to one. Let's see what they got. Three cards in hand. Teferi, kind of obnoxious. Going to bounce Alter of the Brood. Sure. Steam Vents tapped. All right, well, let's see what we find. We untap. Liquid Metal Coating. Interesting. Hmm, we are going to lose our Karn, though, aren't we? So if we play... All right, play Liquid Metal Torque. Actually, do we hold on to it? What do we do here? The Teferi protects, we could kill the Teferi, but then we still lose our Karn. I guess we just can't stop, I mean, the way we could stop Karn from dying is just a Braid a Noble Hierarch. Maybe that's our plan. All right, a Braid a Noble Hierarch. Play Liquid Metal Coating. Liquid Metal Coating, target your white, white, blue, blue, red, red. You know what, let's get the Forest. Our opponent's mana is pretty fine now, but Getting the forest means Blood Moon is a pretty sweet draw. All right, Sahili. <laughs> I mean, that's basically a question. Can we find the Sahili and resolve it before our opponent goes crazy, which they are going to do? Risen Reef. All right, here comes the craziness. 
Gets a mountain, hits the Karn. Yeah. Anger of the Gods would be sweet. We would accept Anger of the Gods. Karnona one. Aired Mesa. One card in hand. Boda Bazes. Sahili. Ether Gust. Well, I guess this does let us keep Karn alive again. Uh, okay, so. I wish we could mill the Risen Reef. That's awkward. Well, Liquid Metal Coating. Liquid Metal Coating a land. Karn. Get rid of the land. Ether Gust. Noble Hire. I assume it goes to the bottom, but we'll see. Uh, opponent, wow, puts it on top. Interesting. Well, we'll replay Alter of the Brood. Pass the turn. Opponent. Noble Hierarch. Yep. So that lets our opponent get rid of the Karn. Takes up. Sahili. Sahili, please. Sahili. Sahili, Sahili. Opponent kills the Karn. We draw. Scalding Tarn. Now play Scalding Tarn. Milia. Opponent's gonna crack the fetch. Maybe worried about running out of lands. Stomping grounds. Tapped. I'll play Liquid Metal Torque. Milia. Pass the turd. Pass the turd. Oh, we need a top deck. We need a top deck. Opponent. Can cash into Fairy to draw cards. Goes to combat. Going to hit us. Down to 15. So the clock is on. Yup. Opponent. An elemental of some kind. Uh, that's. Pretty good. So that's gonna make an elemental most likely. Discards a solitude, draws three because of Risen Reef. Oh, we're running out of time. We are officially running out of time. Opponent's going off, takes up to Fairy, plays Smoke Braider. Well, this is the draw of the game, I will say. Misty Rainforest, Windswept Teeth. All right, well, Finn the deck, Scalding Tarn, cracked. Three Sahilis. 41 cards in the deck. Odds are not great, but they're also not horrible. Um, let's just get the steam vents. Mill you. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Island. Well, we will pass the turn. So we shouldn't die. We're dying very soon, and our opponent's going to draw a ridiculous number of cards. Cracks the windswept teeth. Untaps. Oh, we're running out of time. We are running out of time. Opponent. Going to bounce Altar of the Brood to draw a card. Three out of 40. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Hits us for a bunch. Down to nine. Running six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Sacred Foundry tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six. We might have two turds. We draw. Urza Saga. Not great. Uh, well, we will play Alter the Brood. We will play Urza Saga. Mill you. Oh, my God. That's lethal. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and that does it. Wow. Our 5-0 dream! At least, if we're going to lose a 5-0 dream, at least we lost it to a, a sweet elemental deck with Titania while milling that seasoned Pyromancer actually killed us. If Sahili is the next card on our deck, then maybe maybe that's a misplay to... You know, so that's lethal. Do we get to draw our next card? Please, Moto. Please, Moto. Let us see if we ruined everything. A braid. All right, so that wouldn't uh, wouldn't have mattered. <sighs> well, after not losing a game through our first four rounds, we did not win a game in our last round. But still, that's a that's a solid four one with a pretty janky deck, and that means we got five treasure chests to open. Kids uh, get a pretty good meal. All right, five treasure chests. Chest number one. We get uh nothing basically. <laughs> Joiner adept manaplasm. Chest two. Jade Avenger treasure. Full art conspiracy theorist. Booby trap, booby trap someday. Someday, and against odds card. One of these times, it's gonna win. Three to go. Dire Fleet Ravager. <sighs> Ixalan was such an underpowered, underpowered block. Wildfire Sweet. We've had sweet budget wildfire decks in the past. Next up, we get Cess Tiger. <laughs> my, uh, my dream pet. Uh, and some play points. One more shot. Come on, Old Border Fetch. Old Border Fetch. Or a Wolf Briar Elemental. Well, all right. Deck was sweet. Chess, eh, not so much, but be back with a wrap up. So what do we learn this week about Liqua Metal Combo for Modern? And I gotta say, I love this deck. I absolutely loved it. Record wise, we went four in one, which uh, a great record, but a little disappointing because our first four matches, not only did we win them all, we didn't 
actually lose a game in our first four matches. 2-0 all the way up to our last round. Last round, we got picked apart by Elemental Value. The Elemental deck looked really sweet. With Titania, we might have to try that one at some point because the value that deck generated was absolutely insane. But the deck was absolutely a blast to play, and it actually felt super competitive. The new additions, the redundancy we were talking about during the deck tech, you could really see it in action. It was very easy to set up the combo. More importantly, the plan of using Liquid Metal Torques with Thieving Skydivers and with Shenanigans and with Abrades, it was super effective. We got some really weird control wins. Like, we had that one game where our opponent played two Murktide Regents into Jace, and we were able to stabilize by shenaniganzing all their stuff over the course of a couple of turns with the help of our Liquid Metal cards. So this deck is just like everything I love in Magic. It's got a janky against odds style combo that might not be all that against odds anymore. It's got land destruction. It's got blood moon. It's got weird cards that no other decks plays. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite decks we've played in a while. And as a bonus, it was actually good as well. So that's been Liquid Metal Combo. That's been our much brew for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.